Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have a really interesting equation x squared minus x cubed equal to 36 and I know a lot of students may be saying hey mister this is a very easy challenge a lot of students can easily solve this by inspection but let's see what will happen right here let's solve this challenge x squared minus x cubed equal to 36 so first of all let's bring this 36 from our right side to left side as a result what we will have right here we will have x squared on the left side minus x cubed and minus 36. So we're bringing this from our right side to left side, minus 36 equal to equal to 0. Really great. Right now, let's write this instead of the 36, let's write 9 plus 27. Let's see what will happen right here. So we have x square minus x cube, and instead of this 36, let's write 9 plus 27. So we have minus, and instead of this 36, we're going to write 9 plus 27. It changed nothing, but in the same way it helps us a lot, because right now we're going to open parentheses. Okay, so let's do this right now. We have x square minus x cube minus 9 and minus 27. Okay, yeah, equal to equal to 0. Right now, 9 equal to 3 square and 27 equal to 3 cubed. So it's really great to express these values as square and as cubed. Let's do this right now. So we have right here x square minus x cube minus 3 square and minus 3 cube equal to equal to 0. Really great. And right now we follow closely. We have x square, we have 3 square, so we can easily group it. And we have x cube right here and we have 3 cube. So we can also, we can easily group these expressions. Let's do this right now. So we have x square. Okay, let's do this. So we have x square x square minus 3 square, so this is our squares, and minus x cube minus 3 cube, okay, equal to equal to 0. Right now, let's take this expression in parentheses, so we can easily take this expression inside parentheses, okay, as a result we have x square minus 3 square, and we're going to take this expression inside parentheses, but we need to change signs, okay, so we need to take it inside parentheses, we need to put minus, but inside parentheses we will have x cube not minus 3 cube, but plus 3 cube, equal to, equal to 0. Right now, if we look closely, what do we have right here? In this parenthesis, we have difference of squares, and we can easily remember a formula. We can easily learn this formula. This is very basic formula, a square minus b square. This is equal to a plus b, a plus b times a, a minus b. Yeah, really great. And the second formula right here, we have a thumb of cubes. So let's also remember this formula. So we have a cube plus, plus b cube. This is equal to a plus b right here, and inside another parentheses, we will have a square minus a b and plus b square. Right now, we're going to apply this formula in the, right here, difference of squares, and we're going to apply this formula right here in this parentheses. So right here, difference of squares, right here, the sum of two cubes. Let's do this right now. So as a result, what do we have right here? x plus 3, x minus 3, x minus 3. And the next thing we have minus, and according to this formula, the sum of two cubes, we have x plus 3. In another parenthesis, we have x plus 3. And inside another parenthesis, we have this expression. So x squared minus 3x minus 3x and plus 9. Really great, equal to equal to 0. And right now, if we look closely, x plus 3 we have right here, and we have x plus 3 x plus 3 right here. So we can easily factor this x plus 3, which helps us a lot because finally we factor our, our question. Okay, so let's do this. We have right here x plus 3. And inside another parenthesis, what do we have? We have this expression, still this expression from this first expression on the left side. So we have x minus 3 and minus this expression inside this parenthesis, minus this x square minus 3x and plus 9 and equal to equal to 0. Right now let's simplify this expression inside this parenthesis. So as a result we have the same beginning x plus 3 and inside another parenthesis we need to open our our parenthesis right here with a minus sign. So we have x minus 3 minus x square plus 3x and minus 9 equal to 0. Let's simplify this right here. So we have minus x square at first. Okay, so let's do this. So we have right here x plus 3 in the first thing we have minus x square, yeah, the next thing we have plus 4x, 3x plus x, we have plus 4x, and minus 3 minus 9 equal to minus 12, equal to, 
equal to zero. So we factor in our challenge, it is really great. Right now, the product of two parentheses equal to zero when the first parenthesis equal to zero or the second parenthesis equal to zero. So let's separate this solution by two parts. And right here we have the first one, x plus three equal to zero. Yeah, x plus three equal to zero. From here, our x first equal to minus three. Yeah, we find our first first root, we will check it a little bit later. And right now let's solve this second quadratic equation. Yeah, this is a quadratic equation. Minus x square plus four x minus 12 equal to equal to zero. Right now let's multiply both sides by, by minus one. It changed nothing, but right here we will have a positive beginning. So it's, it's really great for us because we prefer quadratic equation without this minus sign. So we have x square minus four x and plus 12 equal to equal to zero. Right now, let's find our discriminant at first. Let's see what will happen when we find our discriminant. Maybe these are the complex roots. Let's do this. So our discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. Let's plug in each of these values into this into this spot. So we have right here minus b, we have minus four. We have b square minus four square minus four times one and times 12. Four square equal to 16 minus 4 times 12 equal to equal to 48. So as a result, our discriminant is negative, equal to minus minus 32. So it implied that right here we will have two complex roots. Let's find it. Let's find these roots right here. So x second and third equal to minus b. We have right here minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a, which is equal to we have minus b, we have 4. 4 plus minus square root of minus 32, our discriminant, minus 32, and all over, we divide all of the thing by 2a by 2. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. We can easily express this minus 32 as 16 times 2 and times minus 1, okay? We can easily split it by three square roots, okay? Multiplying by each other, okay? Let's do this right now. So we have right here 4 plus minus square root of 16 times square root of 2 and times square root of of minus one and we divide all of the thing by by two right now square root of 16 we can easily find this is equal to four and this is our complex unit square root of minus one equal to equal to i so as a result what do we have right here four plus minus four square root of two times i and we divide all of the thing by by two which is equal to right now Let's divide four by two and this expression by two. This is our common denominator, so we can easily do this. So we can easily write it as four over two plus minus four square root of two times i all over two. And as a result, we have right here two plus minus plus minus. Right here, we can easily cancel also this four and two plus minus two square root of two times i. And these are, these are our complex solutions. So let's write our final answer to this equation. Let's write our final solution and let's check our roots. So first of all, our final answer to this question, our final answer, x first, right here, x first equal to minus three. This is our real number root. We find our real number root. x second right here equal to, let's go with the plus sign, two plus two square root of two times i and x third equal to two minus two square root of two times i. This is our real number root and these are our complex complex root right here. And this is all of these roots right here because in the beginning we had x cubed. So it means that we will have like no more than three roots. This is really great. So we have two complex roots and one real number root. Let's check this root. Let's check this real number root right here in the beginning what we had. We have x square minus x cubed equal to 36. When we plug in x equal to minus three, as a result, we have minus three squared minus minus three cubed which is equal to, right here we have minus three square equal to nine, minus minus three cube, we still have minus sign because this is odd power. So we have minus three cube equal to 27. And as a result, minus minus gives us plus right here. And as a result, we have 36, which proves that our root is absolutely, absolutely correct. So this is really great. Right now we can easily see a plot to this challenge. You can easily see a plot. Uh, you can easily see these points of intersection. You can easily see this x equal to minus three, which is a really great proof, which is really great to look at this question in a perspective of geometry. Maybe sometimes it's really great to look at this question in a perspective of geometry, in a perspective of these points of intersection, which help us a lot to understand 
this question from another from another perspective so this my solution to this challenge may be a little bit long but i tried to explain it step by step uh, step by step as you can see right here uh, step by step we can easily skip maybe two or three lines but i try to explain you step by step maybe new students right here on my channel and challenge channel and i want to uh, to explain it in a, in a small steps right here so step by step yeah but i hope um, you understand my explanation i hope you learn something new you can easily write your thoughts down into the comment section write your solution down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it also write your response it will be also really interesting to read about it maybe you have, have um, your approach how can you solve this challenge it will be really interesting to read about it into the comment section so thank you for your time thank you for your support see you in the next videos and have a great day